Yo, what's up, what's up, man? What's up, what's good with it? What's up, what's up, y'all? Come on in, come on in, come on in. We chilling, we chilling. Y'all already know exactly what time it is. We back here to start some old game on the ground from Hunger Hounds. We just got the pound and are ready for the next round, man. With that being said, I hope everybody's had a good day today. My day's been all right. My day's been pretty chill, pretty regular, average day in the regularly scheduled program, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all already know what we do. We get up, get to the grind, keep on grinding until it's time to go to sleep. You know, it's a regular everyday thing. You know, you can't escape it. That's just how life is. There's just certain things that you can't escape, and the grind is just one of the things, you know. Uh, let me know how you guys' day was down there in the comments below. If you guys had anything fun, interesting, entertaining, or productive playing today. Uh, and if you did, you know, let me know how your day was. And if not, let me know how your day was. You know, if you had a good day or a bad day. Also, let me know where you guys are tapping in from, you know, so I can shout out your city, your city, your state, your country, wherever you're from. Uh, I'd like to know where my viewers are tapping in from. Uh, I've also thought it was interesting how we can all tap into the same program at the same time from different parts of the world. You know, like right now, it's darker than the abyss out where I'm at right now, but where y'all might be, it could be brighter than the sun. You know, it just, it's crazy, man, how far technology comes, you know, how far we come with technology. It's like, uh... Um, about another 30, 50 years or so, I guarantee we're probably going to be teleporting with technology. You know, they're going to have certain stations you go to, press a button on the technology, and you teleport to the other station. And I feel like that's how it's going to be in the next 30 to 50 years with the way technology is going, you know. But uh, who knows? Only time can tell, you know. Only time can tell. Um, today, we're going to be talking about something a little different, man. It's, just, it's crazy to me how stuff like this happens. You know, uh, I don't get it, and I don't get how the child even got a hold of what they had, you know, um, 14 year old kid, we gonna get into it, you know, but, uh, we gotta hit 800 likes first before we do, uh, we're almost there, you know, we're more than halfway there, uh, we just need, like, what, 30 more likes, less than 30, so, uh, yeah, man, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull this article up real quick, let me turn this down a little bit. This is just, it's this, this, it's crazy, man. It blows my mind when I read stuff like this. Blows my mind when I read stuff like this, man. Uh, a 14 year old girl offs an 11 year old boy after allegedly aiming at someone else. And this is just, I don't get this, man. I don't get how this stuff like this happens. I don't get how these children get a hold of these things. I mean, obviously I do, but still, man. A 14-year-old girl is accused of um, harming and offing an 11-year-old after she was allegedly aiming at someone else, according to police. Uh, it happened and unfolded at a Dallas apartment complex at about 2 p.m. Sunday, the Dallas Police Department said. Two girls were fighting in the parking lot, and one of the girls, a 14-year-old, retrieved a weapon and um, popped in the direction of the female she was fighting, according to police. But the the uh, the weapon hit a bystander, an 11 year old boy. Authorities said the boy was taken to a hospital where he passed away. Police said the 14 year old suspect, who has not been identified, allegedly fled the scene and was later found at another apartment complex. Police says she being she's being held at the Henry Wade Juvenile Justice Center. The weapon has been recovered. The police said. Uh, and yeah, man, it's just it, it's crazy to me how these kids are out here. You know, now she got a first degree charge. She gonna have a first degree charge at the age of fourteen. You know, she done she done off the kid, another kid at the age of fourteen. She done, she got her first charge at the age of fourteen. Man, see these kids are out here. This is why it's important as parents that we make sure if we have any weapons, we keep them locked up so that none, none of our kids or nobody else can get a hold of them. You know, um, I I. I I support having weapons, you know, I support all that stuff, but what I don't support is negligence when it comes to having those things around children. That's the one thing that I can't support, that I can't get behind, that I don't like, is when people don't pay attention to what they're doing with said weapons. Uh, hold on just a minute, y'all. Give me just a minute. But, uh... That's one thing that I don't support, that I can't get behind, is negligence when it comes to weapons around children. Uh, you got to learn to keep them locked up. you got to learn to uh, keep them away and out of the, out of reach from children. I don't care if, you're, if your child is trained or not with them. Uh, if, they, if there ain't no uh, proper parental supervision, 
Uh, they should not be around them at all. They should never be around without the proper parental supervision. And even then, it, it, they still shouldn't really be around them unless you out at the range, at the range, range. Unless you out at the range, unless you out at the range, there ain't no reason why your children should be around your weapons. You know, they're, they're kids. Obviously, they're not going to have the respect for the weapon that you have because they don't under, they don't fully understand the weapons like an adult would. They don't understand the capabilities of a weapon as an adult would. You know, they don't they don't know how to use it. They don't know what uh, circumstances to use it in, like an, a, a trained adult would. You know, and it just goes to show right here. This little girl, she done crashed out now. She she 14 years old. She in the juvenile detention center. Um, she. she I don't know, man. They're probably going to give her, what y'all think, 10 years, 15 years, maybe? I don't know. And that that's on a good day, honestly. Uh, I think that's on a good day. You're a kid and you're crashing out because, come on, dude. First of all, I want to know what led up to it. You know, what led up to them fighting? That's all that, that came up on that was on that report, on that uh, article. Was, that's all, all that was read. That was it. Um. It ain't say what led up to it. It ain't say why they were fighting, the reason they were fighting. It ain't say why she ran into there and grabbed the weapon in the first place. It ain't say none of that, man. And I wish it did, but it didn't. You know, and it's just, it's crazy, man. This is why parents have got to stop just leaving stuff around. And some people would suck at driving, man. I promise you that. But parents, y'all got y'all got to do better, man. We got to do better as parents, you know, uh, because you just you leaving it around for your kids to get a hold of. Next thing you know, something like this happens, and your fourteen year old girl just caught her first charge. Your fourteen year old daughter just caught her first charge. Uh, she in juvenile detention now. She ain't getting out. No, she ain't getting out. The eleven year old kid ain't coming back. He gone. You know, he he a hump in the ground now. Eleven years old lost his life because of negligence, because somebody's. Because her, her parents decided to leave the weapons in, in uh, a reachable place for kids to get a hold of, man. And it's just, it's, it's crazy. And all of this could have been avoided had you just kept your weapons up and out of the reach from other from, from children and other people. All of this could have been avoided. That, that 11-year-old kid could still be alive and kicking. Uh, that she'd never, she wouldn't be in juvenile detention. Uh, yeah, she wouldn't, she wouldn't be getting, uh, she wouldn't be getting no charge, but she is now. Yeah, she is now. <clears throat> you know, and another thing is, uh, how would she know to go get the weapon to go, uh, f uh, uh, fire upon her and whoever else was around? How would she know to do that? You know, the, I think the only way she would know that is if, she, if she's grown up seeing that stuff. Uh, her parents got to be teaching her something that really she's not supposed to know at such a young age, you know. Her parents got to be teaching her that kind of stuff because how does she, how does she know what to do? Uh, how does she know to run up on somebody with a firearm like that with a weapon? Uh, it's just, it, it blows my mind, the negligence that these parents have in this generation. Got to do better, man. Got to do better. This ain't it. This ain't it. No, nope. Mm -mm. That's sad, man. I know the parents of that 11-year-old boy are crying their, ear, their eyes out right now. They screaming their lungs out. I can't say for the 14-year-old uh, girl's parents. I can't. I can't. I can't speak for them. That's they done messed up, and now their kid got that got their first charge at the age of 14. Man, it's crazy. These kids is really out here trying to be like adults, man. What happened to just kids being kids, man? Why do kids got to act like they're grown, you know? Why do kids got to go out here and do things that adults are supposed to do, you know? Uh, why can't you just be a kid? You go to school, go home, play with your friends. Uh, go home, go to sleep, do it all over again. Why do you got to be out here trying to be in the streets, man? You're only 14 years old. You got a whole life ahead of you, and you're over here crashing out. That ain't it. That ain't it. But, uh... Yeah, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up on out of here. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. I'm going to be right back with the next episode. So tap and follow the bell button if you guys like what you see and like what you hear. And I'll be right back. Make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grannies, and everybody else that y'all know. Deuces. <laughs>